What's up guys? Welcome to Finn's Family Farm. My name is Micah. If you're new to the channel, thank you for clicking on and watching. If you're old to the channel, thank you for clicking back on and watching. I appreciate it. Well, we've got some things going on. By the time you all watch this video, we now own five acres. Um, so we are happy. And um, I'm going to be doing some things to get ready to be moving off. Of course, I had to move the roosters in this little pen because they broke out twice at that pin. So I gotta take the tarps off of that one and get it ready to be moved. But um, I'm gonna clean the trailer off right now so I can get some things loaded on the trailer that we don't use at the, right here on this property, on this farm. I'm gonna go ahead and move it out there. That way it's some less things that we gotta move later. So, I don't know if y'all remember this old, it used to be a, was going to be a chicken tractor. Um, and then I was going to turn it into a, a greenhouse. These gnats are bad on the trailer. I need to clean the trailer off first. I'm going to try my handy dandy winch. See if my winch will winch it up there. But as you see, there's a bunch of hay and trash on here that I need to um, get off so it's hot guys I did my tank top sorry I don't like wearing shirts when it's hot I like wearing these tank tops so just bear with me So the rest of it is hay, like pieces of hay. I'm just going to get the blower and blow it all off. It's not going to hurt anything. It would actually be better. Oh, sorry. It would actually be better for the soil because the hay will compost into the ground and helps the soil out. So the hay is okay. So uh, we're gonna pull, pull, get some tools and put them up, put some stuff up. Then I'll get the blower out here and we'll blow it off. getting hot now all right guys so i'm gonna put the trailer back up or the tailgate back up and then i would pull it around here to the front and i'm going to hook my winch up to that eye bolt right there and see if i can winch it up
right. I'm gonna get a little closer. Get back closer, I'm gonna get it guys, with a winch. That's it guys, now I'm gonna push it forward and um, we're gonna back up. Well, we're gonna move the trash pile and back up to that, uh, to that gate and get some more stuff. So I need to move this all the way forward. There we go. All right. Hey guys, what are y'all doing down there? Oops, didn't see the camera, knocked it over. Everything's okay. All right. We're gonna get quail cage loaded. All right, guys. Well, I just tripped on a cage. And most of y'all know that I have hip problems. I'm gonna take a break. Cause that just hurt my leg, my hip. All right, guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go rest up for a little bit. And uh, I'll be back. Hey guys. So this is a, a quick video of the property. So I got a barn, that's where the camper is gonna go. We're gonna live in a camper for a little bit until we get our house built. Um, we're gonna move this mobile home out of here. It's not livable, but it came with the property. Um, it goes way out there to the tree line, you see. And then it goes uphill. It's so pretty much where you see the tree line. Our driveway's over here. That's my hunting stand, two hunting stands. Right here, there was a bush, azalea bush. I'm cutting down all these azalea bushes right here. So we'll do a, a quick tour of the property. So yeah, we're gonna tear this down. I'm gonna keep some of the metal on it so I could use it for roofing on like um, chicken houses or goat houses, things like that. So that's the property line. Sorry guys, I'm out of breath. I've been cutting bushes down and I remembered that I needed to make a video. So all that I'm gonna clean up. It's gonna take time to clean all this up, but I'm gonna get it all clean and cut back to where we need it. And then our property line, I'm gonna get a fence put up. So 
so uh, that's all. So right here is gonna be my deer plot by this tree. Here's my shooting. My shooting. So yeah, this is uh, gonna be it, guys. Our new property, or it is our property now. I just gotta move stuff out. And over here, up against the tree line, is gonna be our um, pig area when we get pigs. But we might change that pig area too, because we're thinking um, from where, let me go back here and stand where I'm gonna put the goats. So the goats is probably gonna have half the property. So we can keep them. So we're gonna have a couple of different pins, but from this tree right here to where I'm at, which is back here in the back. So from where I'm at, to, past that tree to the next tree line, all the way over to that tree line, down and back to me. So that's probably gonna be about an acre or two of land for them to explore and eat all this weeds and stuff. But I'm actually going to move my um, deer stand. That's right there. If you see it right there, I'm actually gonna move it and put it way up there. And um, that way I can shoot down to the woods instead of across the goat field. I don't want to hit any goats. So all of these woods right here is owned by the state. So no one can build around us. The woods over there along in front of us, the guy across the street owns that property. He doesn't live on that property. He lives across the street. But I, then we're gonna put the deer, or the sorry, the goats all through here. And get them all eat up. Uh, let's see. Let me go to the top of the property. We look down. That over there, where you see that pole right there, is where we come in for the driveway. And it's an easement, so we're pretty much driving through the other guy's property to get to our property, which is fine. No big deal. So I'm gonna go up here to the top. I'm almost there. We got, we got a lot of cleaning to do our driveway. So this is at the, I'm at the top of the property now, on the property line. The driveway's over there. The barn is way down there. The mobile home is way down there. My deer plot's right there, and all the goats are gonna be over here, all the way around. And then right in this area, right here where we're looking, is gonna be the garden, where I plant all my vegetables and um, whatever else I want to plant. We're thinking over here by the big power pole. Well, sorry. Or right here. We uh, plan on putting our house right there. So we're going to do that. This old deer stand. I'm going to see if I can scrap some of the wood off of it. And use the wood for other things. So, but I've got to get all this fenced in, which is going to be a lot of fencing. The driveway there. That goes through another piece of property. So, it's a nice size. It's a little under six acres. I think it's like five and a half or something like that. Very nice. It has a well on it. It's already got three power poles, four power poles on the property. 
as you see it needs to be bush hog that tree right there is coming down i gotta clean up around the well because i'm having a, a well guy come out and inspect it tell me what it needs to be fixed so we can have water out here so when we get the camper out here we can uh, set it all up yes that tree's coming down i think while i'm here i'm going to take it down with a chainsaw and clean it up some i did uh walk out of the house and forgot my weed eater so we'll have to figure that out for the whale guy to get in there there's some pine trees right there i hate pine trees so they're coming down now the driveway right here it's a big difference if you don't have a truck you ain't coming down so i don't know if y'all see the slope there that's a huge slope um so i have to fix that so we could have a better driveway i'm going to add some dirt to it i'm also going to make another driveway for the car until we get this driveway fixed so and there's a bunch of clay so when that clay gets wet if you know clay it gets slippery so i want to fix all of that i got some old asphalt asphalt at um the house that i'm going to bring so this is there's another power pole i'll walk the other this part property behind the barn show you so we plan on putting a shed back here to hold all of our stuff that we can't put in the camper that's some of our stuff that we brought back that hood of a semi truck was already on the property i'm going to turn that into a goat shelter so property goes back there a little bit all the way to that pink marker that you see right there in the woods but we're going to clear all the trees out right here along with see i don't know this is the side of the barn. I gotta fix the overhang right there. The tin metal came off. I'm gonna take some of these trees down and then some of these trees out is our orange trees and they grow oranges. I'll see if I can find, you can see some right there that's still green, that hasn't changed yet. All these dead trees in front of them, I'm gonna take down. I gotta burn this because the original homeowners um, just left it there so now the state owns all this i'm going to see about when it's come hunting season i'm gonna try and walk down and hunt all here and um I'll go from there i do have a barrel now that i could use for whatever i need I can hunt on my property when it's deer and deer season. So it's all going to be good, guys. It's going to be our new journey, our new chapter in life. We are very excited to move out here. It is a long ways away from family. It's about 30 minutes to an hour drive to our family and to work the guys are so peaceful and it's going to be that way for a long time because no one can build around us the only thing we'll be hearing is our roosters and our goats and our dogs so all right guys thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and watch our new chapter in life go ahead and like the videos if you like them Go ahead and hit the notification bell if you, um, so that way you can get notified when we make videos.